And a lot of these things that honestly we put on our old shoulders are not meant for us to carry. Then when you add on work and personal life and families and everything that comes with this life that we live, our worth is not attached to our productivity. <sighs> no. This verse read me for filth, okay? Because... Hey Conquerors, Kristen here. I'm so excited to see your gorgeous faces and even though I cannot see you, I know that you are absolutely flawless because you're made in the image of God. And welcome to this video. So briefly, I just wanted to talk about three ways to just realize or recognize that your body and your mind need rest. So this was kind of like an impromptu word that the Lord just delivered to me as I am literally just starting to kind of work and get into the flow of things in my office. And it is after 5 p.m. because what I did today is I completely rested. I slept and it felt great because I don't think I realized how exhausted my body and my mind had been just from kind of being on overload and overwhelm for the last couple of weeks, honestly, probably even like the last couple of months. So this was really just a time and a moment for me to reflect and I wanted to share some thoughts with you. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to mention to just recognize when your body and your mind need rest is that you start to feel burdened and overwhelmed. That means that just your normal day-to-day -day activities, whether it's just getting up, exercising, showering, taking care of yourself, doing your skincare routine, just feels really overwhelming. And then when you add on work and personal life and families and everything that comes with this life that we live, serving in ministry, you know, I do this like whole personal influencer, personal brand type of thing, which honestly gets overwhelming as well. I own a business. So again, all my business owners would relate to know that like these things can definitely sometimes feel like burdens. And what I had to realize was that a burden was not necessarily something that I just didn't like. Like a burden is not just going to the dentist because I don't really like when people are poking at my teeth. Um, and a burden could be, again, just like daily tax that I have to do and I have to complete however they just feel so overwhelming when I when my mind I guess just doesn't recognize that it just kind of needs to take a break and it just needs to reset and what I really really love like one of my favorite scriptures I'm actually going to read it to you because I just you, you need it you need to get it right you know so this verse comes from the book of Matthew and it is from chapter 11 and it is verses 28 through 30 and it says come to me all of you who are weary and burdened and I will give you rest take up my yoke and learn from me because I am lowly and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light so this really just made me sit and reflect because I thought about how much I was trying to carry myself and how much I was trying to carry on a daily basis. And a lot of these things that honestly we put on our old shoulders are not meant for us to carry. Um, there's another verse, I believe it's in Peter, but I'm gonna make sure I put it on the screen. Um, but it just says, cast your cares on the Lord for he cares for us. Like, so, Similarly here, he's saying all of you who are weary and burdened, he will be able to give us rest. And then when we pick up his yoke, which is just, you know, his, the inside of him, the core of him, I think about an egg yoke, right? And we learn from him because he is lowly and humble in heart, you will find rest for your souls. So I think about all of the times that we hear in the New Testament when Jesus retreated. He retreated to make sure that he had rest and like quiet and peaceful and silent rest that he could just sit and pray and fellowship and commune with the Father. So when you start to feel burdened and overwhelmed, that is the first sure tell sign to realize that you need some rest. Okay, this second tip is mostly for your body because this is actually exactly what I experienced today, okay? The second reason or, you know, thing that might happen when you realize that you need more rest is when your body is actually telling you that it's exhausted and it wants to sleep. So that means that when you believe that you've had like you know, an adequate amount of rest at night and you wake up and you feel even more tired than usual because 
honestly I am one of those people I am NOT a morning person I don't like saying statements like that like I am not however when I feel like I know myself at the core your girl just she just doesn't like getting up early in the morning like that's just not me it's not my personality it's not anything that I have ever enjoyed or had fun with like I am really I call myself a night owl honestly because I can stay up all night and I can work all night um and I can get up in the morning like if the situation permits for me to but as far as just like you know just on a daily for I don't want to say no good reason because people are like oh my gosh like wake up early and spend time with you just in the morning and like you know have that quiet time cool great good for you if you can wake up at 4 30 like if I wake up at 4 30 you don't want to see me at 2 in the afternoon that's just all I realized about myself but anyways I digress um <laughs> so but when your body tells you that it is exhausted and it's sleepy and it can actually go back to sleep which is what happened to me today so I woke up and I was like okay cool you know I had my little moment to myself but I was just immediately exhausted and I knew that I could fall right back asleep and I did and I slept for a couple more hours so that is how I knew that my body really needed rest it needed to just rejuvenate and regenerate itself because I was exhausted and again like I told you this all had this like had been happening for months so just think of months of just you know poor sleep habits and again i'm a business owner so <laughs> if you're a business owner you relate like you already kind of understand in a deeper way but our minds barely turn off like there are things that we are thinking about like my dreams sometimes revolve around like my business and just ideas and marketing and product and inventory and social media and all of the things you know <laughs> so I kind of lost my train of thought but anyways that means that I like completely understand like that's how I know like sometimes I am not getting good and adequate rest at night because it's so hard for me to shut my mind off so when I realized that my body really 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 needed extra rest is when I knew that I could go back to sleep and sleep good for a good couple of hours so just take note of that and realize that if you wake up I'm not saying like you know I I really work for myself in this stage of life so that's kind of where I have that flexibility I mean but mental health days and rest days are real so whether you're in corporate whether you are an essential worker we appreciate all of you but put yourself first put your rest first put your mind and your body and your spirit first okay because you cannot pour from an empty cup and that means that if there is something inside of you that you do not have to be an adequate person and to serve the people and the community that you are meant to serve then that means you need to go back to the drawing board and you need to probably just go back to sleep and get some rest okay so just keep that in mind okay and my last point it really goes to now your spirit and you know that you need rest when your spirit feels depleted and again going back to the verse in Matthew 11 when it talks about come to me all who are weary weary to me is a state of mind it's a state of being like it's just a state of exhaustion and um just like depletedness you know so when your spirit feels that way that is a good again a sure tell sign that you need rest your body needs rest your mind needs rest and your spirit needs to rest so when it says again to like just switch yokes with Jesus like all of the things that we have and that we carry switch it with him he's lowly and humble in heart he really only has one mission and that is to be about his father's business so when we just recognize that we our worth is not attached to our productivity that is what I had to tell myself today because for a minute I felt bad about not doing anything and not working and not showing up for people and not you know saying hi to my Instagram family and not posting on my boutique or sending an email I did like my bare minimum work and I did have the conversations and correspondence that was needed but I didn't go above and beyond and for a moment I felt bad about that I felt like I was not a great person because I decided to rest and that is what is a complete lie of the enemy Jesus already loves you 
regardless of your productivity now we do have calls he has commissioned us and he has given us authority however he does never he never wants us to put the just i, I it's kind of hard to say this but like because i don't want to <laughs> I don't really want to speak for Jesus. However, I know that he would want us to take care of ourselves before we can fully take care of others. That is what I can say. So when I think about just like how we need to be filled and how, again, how Jesus retreated, Jesus was Jesus, okay? Jesus was a part of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That means that he was God. He was the word in the flesh who dwelt among us, right? But even Jesus had to retreat. Even Jesus had to rest, you know? <laughs> it's hard to imagine Jesus like sleeping, um, because we know that God never sleeps, but Jesus still had to rest and he still had to get his spirit refilled by the Holy Spirit. And he did that and he took the time to do that regardless of what was happening, regardless of who was calling for him, regardless of what mountain he had to go and speak on, which disciple needed him, which person needed to be raised from the dead, what water needed to be turned into wine. We know that Jesus still rested. So if we are called to just be the hands and feet of Jesus here on the earth, we know that it is important for us to be able to acknowledge and then to accept that we need rest. I actually have one more scripture that I want to share with you and this one comes from the book of Isaiah and it is Isaiah chapter 30 verse 15 and Isaiah was a prophet um, just for a little bit of backstory so this verse says for the Lord God the Holy One of Israel has said you will be delivered by returning and resting your strength will lie in quiet confidence but you are not willing <laughs> now this verse read me for filth okay because it at first I was reading and I'm like oh my gosh yes that's so sweet like you will be delivered by returning and resting your strength will lie in quiet confidence be then it but then when it said but you are not willing that means that it's on us that means that our personal thoughts and personal you know things that we have going on in our lives and what we prioritize has not been rest and I love I really love going back into the Old Testament and seeing just the examples of these things I love the actually the entire Bible in general because though it was written over 2,000 years ago it still to me gives me so much confirmation and understanding of even how we live and act today so i mean i don't even really know what else to say but honestly we want the promises right we always want the promises of god however we tend to believe that the promises are attached to our own personal doings and that is not the case the Lord said again in Isaiah I believe it is in chapter 55 that his word will not return to him void so what he has spoken over you what he has spoken into your life that means that it will come full, full circle and to me when I heard these words that you will be delivered by returning and resting and your strength will lie in quiet confidence that is a promise that's a promise of the Lord but the part that that struck me was saying but you're not willing and willing is a state of mind you know we have a free will which is something that is freely given to us by God and by the Holy Spirit and that free will allows us to do and act within God's will and then it also allows us to act outside of it and what whatever path we choose the Lord already knows our days were already numbered and written before we even graced the earth but I just know like for myself when I hear a promise I just want to know that I did the best to act according to it um and obviously no one is perfect I am not perfect which is why I had all of these thoughts and feelings about even resting today and why I felt bad for it um but just knowing 
that I will be delivered by returning to and resting. So what I did, even when I slept, I really just tried to soak in the moment and I just tried to be aware of the spirit and the aware of God's presence around me and the embrace that I felt that it's okay. Like, it's okay, daughter. Like, you're tired. <laughs> you are weary. You are burdened. Like, just come to me and I'm going to give you some rest. And it felt great. I feel better. I was able to come here and still do some work and record this video for you all. Um, and so I just wanted to encourage you with this word and to let you know that when you, when your body tells you that you need rest, listen to it when your spirit and your mind tell you that you need rest listen to it retreat take some time for you whatever it is that makes you feel full whatever whether it's sleep whether it's listening to a sermon whether it's going for a walk or taking a nice bath or binge watching on netflix because i love literally all of those things <laughs> but whatever it is that your spirit is calling you to do today and it's telling you to rest take heed of it and actually get some rest girl you deserve it. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I look forward to talking with you all again. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like, thumbs up, comment what's your favorite or like what was your biggest realization? Like, does your body need rest currently? Like, are you in a state of just like kind of on go and you feel like once you stop you're just gonna hit a wall because that's actually kind of how I felt I was on go for the last couple of months and I honestly felt like I hit a wall so just let me know let's have a conversation in the comments and I look forward to seeing you in the next video bye